Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Books Natasha and today I have another fun video for you guys and that is my manga TBR So for this video we're gonna talk about all the mangas that are on the top of my TBR list at the moment and without any further ado let's just get straight in Before we start I'd just like to point out that I got a haircut, I also uh, dyed my hair again and I am obsessed, I'm loving it, this is like so me and I'm having the best time also if you notice I have reorganized my bookshelf I'm sorry that I wasn't able to film it, it just I did, all, I did it completely on a whim so yeah, so let's just get straight into the list of manga the first manga on my list is Yona of the Dawn this is one that I have started reading already and I'm currently on volume 8 chapter 57 I watched the anime completely on a whim and then picked up the manga because I really want to see uh, Hax and Yona's relationship develop that is my main goal for this series I wasn't as obsessed uh, with it as everyone else is for me it's like a 3.75 star series it's not my all-time favorite but the romance between Hax and Yona is like a 4 star definitely and I'm just really excited to re read this series but I am also really scared because it's like 30 plus volumes and there is no sign for it to be ending so I guess we'll see how it goes but I'm in for it I now so wish me luck I should have one that I have probably mentioned before and that is The Promised Neverland I keep w watching comparisons to one of my favorite manga series Surf of the End and just because of that comparison I need to read the series and it's a completed series so that is a plus for me because I am in the middle of so many current, uh, currently airing series and I just want one that is completed and I can bench and just be happy and maybe help me with my reading slump but yeah this will i think it's gonna be your favorite and it's also gonna be super traumatic for me i don't know much about it i'm really going to go in as blind as i can but i think there is this facility that children are leaving and every month or so i think a child leaves and the and the other children think that they go to buy the place i think to find foster parents or something like that i think it's an orphanage and then they find out that those kids end up getting killed so they escape and that's about as far as i know i'm sorry if my synopsis is wrong on anything i will try to put synopsis as well here i will try to start doing that for my manga videos but we'll see but yeah i'm really excited for this next we have one that is so famous and that is tokyo ghoul this was the first manga that I ever picked up. I read Tokyo Ghoul in back in 2017 when I wasn't really into manga. I just read it because one of my favorite YouTubers read it and she ended up loving it. But for me, I ended up giving volume 1 5 stars. But volume 2 short was like super difficult for me to get through. I have no idea why but i put it down and then never picked it up again so i really want to give it another try because i think tokyo Ghoul is has definitely has elements that i can make it a new favorite series of mine and i just re i'm really invested in, Kan in, in kaneki's story from the anime and everything and i keep hearing the manga is a thousand percent more ba uh, better and i just really want to read it also, it is a completed series, but there is also a continuation series, which I think is also finished. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, so I need to be prepared to read both of those if I end up really loving this series. Next, we have a, a condition called Love. This just announced yesterday that this will get an anime and just I had it already on my TBR list and this caused it to jump straight to the top because I really want to be ready for the anime and I prefer to read the manga first so it's not a lot it's like eight volumes for me it's like one day so I definitely can do it but 
the thing is i'm sort of in a rhythm slam at the moment so it's difficult to pick up anything even if i do pick something i'm not questioning it like uh, at all so yeah i'm really excited for this one i only know cliff notes i know that this boy breaks up with his girl, uh, girlfriend and then this other girl treats him nicely and he's instant loving her i think something like that so i think it's gonna be fun shoujo manga for me to take a break for all the fantasy and shonen ones so it's gonna be fun the last manga on this list is keep to love for this has been everywhere lately so many people have been watching the anime i have not watched the anime because like i said before i prefer to read the manga first and this is one of those cases because this has like seven volumes or eight volumes out at the moment so it's pretty easy for me to bench read it so i really want to give it a try but i'm just really into the mood lately so it's difficult for me to pick up regular couple romances if that makes sense but i'm gonna give it a try soon so wish me luck i don't know much about this i only know that this is the two main characters and nothing more so i think it's gonna be a cute quirky social romance and i really love those so that's it for my video hope you guys enjoyed i had so much fun talking about all the manga that i hope to read soon if you want i have discovered a new website for especially for international shoppers for manga and books for most manga and caitlin from the the today also recommends this a new website i will put the link down below and you can use my code i will put it right here for 10 percent discount and if you would like check out my instagram i put a lot of work into it and i post every two days my schedule is consistent for every other week so i'm hoping you guys had enjoyed this video like subscribe stick around and i will see you in my next video very soon bye